Hello, hello, hello. Good day to everyone. So today we are going to have another set of videos still all about sets. And what are we going to have today? Today we are going to have problem solving involving Venn diagram two sets. Okay, so please stay tuned and I uh, hope that you learn in this video. Okay, so what is a Venn diagram? So to understand better what uh, we are going to have for today is that dapat naintindihan muna natin kung ano yung Venn diagram. If I'm not mistaken, last week I uploaded eight videos and four of which are part two of the union of set, part two of the intersection of sets, and part two of the difference of sets, and part two of complements of a set. So, yung lahat ng part two na yun, it already involves Venn diagram. So, now, what is a Venn diagram? It says here that Venn diagram is a diagram that uses circles to represent sets. The relation between the sets is indicated by the arrangement of circles. The Venn diagram is a way of representing sets visually and is named after its inventor, British mathematician John Venn, 1834 to 1923. So, if I'm going to explain this um, in Tagalog, it says here that... Um, Para mas maintindihan daw natin kung paano ang pag-solve ng problem gamit ang Venn diagram, kinakailangan daw ay gumamit tayo ng circles. So, yung circles na yun, yung arrangement niya sa loob ng rectangle, which is your universal set, ay magbibigay sa atin ng kahulugan para ma-solve natin kung ano yung hinihingi sa problem. So, Please stay tuned. I'll be giving an example on how to solve problems involving Venn diagram with two circles or two sets. Now, I have here a rectangle and this rectangle represents your universal set. Anything that you see or anything that you found inside this rectangle is a part of a universal set like this blue circle which is for my set A and like this green circle which is for my set B. Anything that uh, you found inside that set A and anything that you found inside or anything that you see inside the green circle are elements or uh, is also a part of a universal set. Okay, so going back again to the Venn diagram that I have here, let me explain to you some details about the Venn diagram. Now, as you can see, that uh, shaded area of the circle that I have there is a part of the blue circle or set A. And that shaded portion means that those elements that you see in that shaded portion is none other than but the elements that are found in set A. A only okay so while if we are going to uh, take a look at the green circle and I'm going to shade that portion there the green one those elements that you see there in, in that uh, shaded portion of the green circle or set B those elements are none other than but the elements that are found in set B only and the shaded portion you see here, which is the yellow one, is none other than but the intersection of set A and set B. It means, ano man ang nakikita nyong elements na naandyan sa gitna yan, nagpapahiwatig yun na parte siya ng set A at parte rin siya ng set B. Ibig sabihin, meron siya nun parehas. Kasi, yung shaded portion na yun ay napunta or nandun siya sa loob ng set A at nandun din siya sa loob ng set B. Okay, so since we are on problem solving involving Venn diagram, let us have the following problem number one. 60 students of grade 7 charity were asked if they have pet animals at home. 
40 of the students have dogs and 35 students have cats. Now, letter A, how many students have dogs only? These are some of the misconceptions that students do whenever we are on problem solving involving Venn diagram. And if they are asked how many students have dogs only, they're going to answer it straight with 40. They thought that the answer is already found in the given, which is not correct. Because in letter A, you are asked that how many students have dogs only? There is the word only. When in the given, it says that 40 of the students have dogs. There is no word only. So writing 40 as the answer is not correct. The same also with question letter B. How many students own cats only? They're going to answer this directly with 35. They thought that the answer is already found in the given, which is not correct also. Because in the question, it says that how many students own cats only? There is the word only. Now, from the given, based from the given, there is no word only there. It only says that there are 35 have cats. So, writing 35 is not correct. And for letter C, how many students have both pet animals? What the students will do here is that they are going to add 40 and 35, making this 75, which is not correct. Why? Because based from the given, 60 students have of grade 7 charity were asked if they have pet animals. So there are only 60. How come that you are going to have answer or have 75 here? As for your answer to the question, how many students have both pet animals? Okay, so to make everything clear, on how to solve problems involving Venn diagram, let us have the following solution. Okay, so here is the solution. Based from the given, the universal set is given by 60. The number of students who owns dogs is 40. And the number of students who own cats is 35. And if we are going to draw a Venn diagram here, let my blue circle be the set of dogs and let my green circle be the set of cats. Okay? Now, to answer the question letter A, how many students have dogs only? What we are going to do is to... Let me draw it for you. Okay, so hanapin natin kung nasaan yung nagpapakita dyan ng dogs only. Okay? A while ago, diniscuss ko na sa inyo, sabi ko, this part, this portion, I'm going to shade it for you. This portion answers the question, dogs only. Okay? Ano man ang elements na naandyan, okay? Yan yung dogs only. So, syempre, para mahanap natin kung... Ilan ang estudyante na nagmamayari ng dogs only or kung ilang estudyante ang merong alagang animal, pet animal na dogs lang, what we're going to do is to subtract kung ilan ang nagmamayari ng cats sa universal set natin. Nakuha niyo ba? So, solving this further, ilan ba ang universal set natin? It is 60. Ilan ang isudyante ang nagmamayari ng cats? 35. Subtracting this, we are going to have how many? Our answer is 25. So, ibig sabihin, ang nagmamayari, I mean, ilan ang isudyante ang nagmamayari ng dogs lang? Ibig sabihin, ang alaga lang nilang pet animal sa bahay ay dogs lang. As in, walang kahalo. Wala silang alagang pusa. The answer is 
25. Nakuha nyo ba? Okay. So, going back to the problem that we have a while ago, um, the universal set is 60, 40 yung dogs, 35 yung nagmamayari ng cats, and you have there your Venn diagram. Kanina, nasagot na natin na uh, merong 25 na isudyante na ang alaga nilang animal, uh, animals sa loob ng bahay ay twi uh, dogs lang. Ilan yon 25. Okay? So, 25 to. Now, this time, you are asked, how many students have cats only? So, let me shade for you the, the portion which uh, tells us that they own cats only, okay? As you can see, I am shading here the portion of the circle green that says they own cats only. Ibig sabihin sa Tagalog, ang alaga nilang pet animal sa bahay ay cats lang. Walang kahalo. Okay? Wala silang alagang aso. Alright? Para masagot yan, like what we did ago, we are going to apply subtraction. Subtraction lang ang ating technique. Ngayon, para masagot yan, sabi natin kanina, uh, ibawas lang natin, okay, ibawas lang natin, syempre, yung dogs, okay, which is 40. So, ibawas lang natin yung 40. Saan? Sa universal set mo. Okay? So, I'm sorry, let me use a formula first. Okay? So, ibawas lang natin yung nagmamayari ng dogs, dogs ha, which is 40, sa universal set mo. Now, your universal set, your universal set is given by 60, and yung dogs mo ay 40. So, let us subtract this. Now, what will be the answer? Correct. The answer is 20. So, this would mean that etong portion na to, meron dyan na 20 na estudyante na ang, ang kanilang alaga sa loob ng bahay ay cats only. Ibig sabihin, cats lang. Wala silang alaga aso. Okay? Okay, so going back to the problem, again, let us answer the uh, third question. Okay, so there you have your given. The universal set is 60. Ang nagmamayari ng dogs ay 40. Ang nagmamayari ng cats ay 35. Um, ipapaliwanag ko lang. Ibig sabihin kasi nyo itong uh, nagmamayari ng dogs na to, which is 40, hindi naman ibig sabihin na uh, 40 sila na Ang, may, uh, ang kanilang alagang pet animal ay dogs lang. Pwede kasing may alaga din silang pusa. Pero, ba may alaga pa rin naman silang dogs. And so, the same with these cats here. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na etong 35 na to, ay 35 na to, na isudyante, ang alaga lang talaga nila ay cats lang. Pwede rin naman kasing etong 35 na to, may ilan sa kanila na uh, may alaga din silang aso. Okay? Pero, may alaga silang cats. Nakukuha nyo ba yung point ko? <laughs> okay, so, um, to explain this using Venn diagram, let's answer question number three. How many students both have pet animals? So, ibig sabihin, ilan kaya yung may alaga na dalawa? Ibig sabihin, may alaga na siyang pusa, may alaga pa rin siyang aso. Okay, so, yung sa letter A kanina, sinagot natin na, uh, uh, dogs only. Yung sa letter B, cats only. Now, this time, sasagutin naman natin ngayon yung tanong na ilan yung may alaga ng cats and dogs. Okay? So, to answer this question, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung nasaan makukuha ang sagot na yun by shading this portion. As you can see, I am shading this portion here Parang sa gitna ng dogs and cats. Bakit? Kasi etong portion na to, this portion here, indicates or it tells us that this is, okay, so etong part na to, this is a part of dogs and is also a part of cats. Nagpapahiwatig na, ibig sabihin kung 
ano yung ilalagay natin dito or ilan yung nakikita ninyo dyan, yan yung nagmamayari na dogs and cats. Ibig sabihin, dalawa ang alaga nilang pet animal sa loob ng bahay. Nakiku na nakikita nyo? Nakukuha nyo ba? Paano natin ngayon sasagutin ang tanong na kung ilan yan? Para masagot natin yan, sabi natin kanina, ang may alaga ng dogs only ay 25, while ang may alaga ng cats only ay 20. So, to answer, how many of the students have dogs, both dogs and cats, what we're going to do is, i-plus muna natin to. 25 plus 20, that is equal to? Correct, 45. Okay, ilagay natin na yun siya dito. 45. And then, after subtracting, I mean, after adding, ang gagawin natin ay isusubtract natin ngayon saan? Sa universal set natin. Okay? Bakit natin siya kailangan ibawas? Kasi syempre, kailangan natin makuha kung ano yung nasa gitna. Kasi pagkat bawas natin, yun ngayon yung sagot natin. Ano ba yung universal set natin? 60. Then, continue to solve na. 60 minus 45, this is equal to what? Okay, the answer is correct. The answer is 15. Okay, ngayon, ang ilalagay natin dito sa gitna ay 15. Okay, yan. So, 15 ngayon ang sagot sa kung ilan yung nagmamayari na both dogs and cats. Alright? To verify our answer, um, let me continue it here. To verify our answer, if we are correct, dapat kapag plinas natin itong 25, 15, and 20, they must be a total of 60. Okay? I-check nyo na kung tama. Alright? I hope you learned in this lesson. We are going to have another set of video and that will be... Oh